All right, it's a don't start vlogging till you're already off work kind of day. 5 p.m. Clocking off, checking out. Today is also a rest day, so uh, I had to wear my CrossFit shirt to make sure that everyone knew I did CrossFit because I wasn't able to do CrossFit today, so wearing the shirt now people know. I just got sandwiches. Uh, Sam and I are going to walk to the park and eat our sandwiches and have a little picnic. Rest day. Picnic time. Remember that um, park I vlogged at like two days ago or something? That's where we're going. We're going back to the park. We're going back to film around all the kids, and I'm going to be that weird creeper with the camera. At least you won't be a loner. What? At least you won't be a loner, creeper. For once in my life. <laughs> So uh, we just had our sandwiches. They were delicious. Delicious. What kind of sandwiches did you have? Turkey. Yeah, I had a meatball sub because I'm 12. <laughs> it's the last day of August. This is the last video that will be uploaded in the month of August. I feel good. I feel like I'm very happy that I finished. So part of it, like, part of it was that I wanted to create a video more so I felt more comfortable in front of the camera and I definitely feel a lot more comfortable in front of the camera now. Um, but another thing was like, th I knew it was going to be hard and I knew that it was going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of mental energy to finish. And so the fact that I've made it, that we're here, this is the last day and then I didn't give up. I had two days where I didn't upload. One, because I was just so down in the dumps, I didn't want to, <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to fake anything. And then two, um, I just took a Sunday off. Confession. I'm surprised you did all of August. Exactly, but that's like that's the thing is like I'll commit to something, and then just be like, ah, I don't feel like it. And there were days that I didn't feel like finishing, and there were days that were really hard to finish. But I'm glad I did. I think overall I'm relieved that it's over. I'm gonna miss this though, and I'm sure I'll do another month again, like some other time, not September. <laughs> Every, everyone was like vlog timber, and I'm like. Probably not. But I kind of wanted to just spend some time, especially with Sam here, like talking about the pros, talking about the cons, talking about what was easy, what was hard, what were the benefits, what were the negatives of um, doing this. And so let's start with the negative and then we will end on a positive note. I like it. So what, what was hard for you during this month? I always have to look like this. <laughs> It is an average day every day. Um, you were always editing. Every time we would hang out, I could go to sleep, but I know you would be staying up late and then you'd be tired the next day and I'd have to hear about it. Yeah, I think the hard thing for me was just feeling like, like one of the hard things is typically when people work out, it's to get away and it's to ignore everything and just get their hour in. And for me, it became like, no, I have to film every single workout. I do this entire month. So every workout wasn't a getaway. It was almost like extreme mode of like, how am I gonna get this angle? How am I gonna get this shot? How am I gonna show that I'm coming from this movement to this movement? And then it was like, we were working out in the morning where we normally work out in the afternoon. And in the afternoon is where I see all my friends. Like that's where like, I love the morning people. We have become good friends with them now, actually. Like the crew that I'm used to was in the evening. Oh, so, yeah. so it was like, I'm not filming the people who I normally film. And so, so my- the dialogue isn't there. The dialogue- comfortable. Some people don't feel comfortable on camera. And at 5.30 PM, it's all of us. So yeah, it's like I realized how much of that was my social interaction for the day. Like, so I'd go from editing to another place where I have headphones on, editing. And then I realized like I spent the whole day not really talking to people and I realized how hard that was and the irony of the fact that I'm vlogging every single day but not talking to anyone. I'm yeah. just talking to this. I, I could totally see why there's not more 
people with full-time jobs daily vlogging because it's hard and some nights you're up just late and then you gotta wake up early the next day have everything charged everything ready and you gotta do it again and then you stay up late everything charged everything ready and you do it again okay enough complaining Okay. What were the pros for you for daily vlogging? I think your last challenge goes into that. Like you have to find the good in every day to record. Mm -hmm. And even the bad. Mm -hmm. It's a roller coaster of emotion. <laughs> Especially with me. <gasps> I know, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I think it was just fun. Like even if I would just watch you edit your videos the next day when it, I got the notification that you upload, I'm like, oh, and I'd watch it, and I'd get excited, and I, I hopefully I'm less awkward now, am I? <laughs> I um, I think the pros for me um, were just the necessity to, it was also a con, but like the necessity to find creativity in every moment of the day. It opened up my eyes to realize when I just want to like veg out, when I just don't want to focus, when I don't want, when I just want to zone out and not think about anything. It was also an opportunity that I could use to create. And so it actually was a positive because it's caused me to be more proactive, plan out my time, plan out my days better, which I already am pretty intent on doing that, but even more. Another thing, like since starting this challenge, the vloggers, like. My channel grew by over 500 oh, subscribers. Oh yeah, today? Today I hit, hit 7,000, 7, yeah. And so that's such a small number, and it's so like, whatever, but it's exciting. Like, yeah, it, it's so exciting. I'm, I'm getting there, like I'm so close to 10,000, I'm so close to just, I'm getting there. And so this was a huge milestone, and if that was the only thing, like it'd be enough, and it'd be enough for me to be like, maybe I do another month. But there are so many other things to consider. But I know I'll do more months. Like I know that'll be another thing I do. Um, just not the next month. Well, what's next then? Okay, so what comes next? I've thought a lot about this. And I wanna create a community that focuses on health, on mental health, on physical health, on spiritual health, on everything that is required to live a healthy life. And, and that you don't wanna be so far focused on one thing that you lose impact and you lose credibility in the other and I think that a healthy life includes all of them and so I want to create I want to be and make a community that focuses and centers around that here is how I see this happening I can't do it with a full-time job I can't do daily vlogs with this full-time job I can't keep it up the quality that the attention that is required to get this happening cannot happen while this is a side project. Now, I'm not expecting to quit my job right away. I don't make enough money off YouTube to be able to do that, but here's something that we can do. For $1 a month, if you believe in me, if you believe in this community, believe in the fitness community that we can create around health, around lifestyle, then all I'm asking is $1 a month for you. For $1 a month, you will say I support you, I believe in you and I invest in your vision. I have decided to create a Patreon so that we can get this going. And trust me, I did not want to say make this video multiple, multiple days. I've thought about it for a long time because I feel weird asking for money. It's almost like I'm asking for help. But if you guys believe in this channel, if you guys believe what I'm doing, it's hard to ask for money. But I'm asking for $1 a month. You can donate more if you want. I'm not against it. But um, if you believe in this community and believe that what we can make is impactful and meaningful, would you head over to that Patreon page? Just check it out. The fact that you're even gonna go and check it out means a lot to me. Um, and I believe that we can make something incredible. But I need your help. And that's gonna do it. That's the end of Vlogist. I hope you guys enjoyed this entire month. We'll do it again some other time, I promise. But for now, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this day off of vlogging. Except that I'm actually going to be vlogging because I'm doing something really exciting this next weekend and you guys will find out about it in the next video. Cool, thanks, peace!